This is RAF West Raynham on a freezing and foreboding January night. This is night four of Most Haunted Live. It's Norfolk, it's nine o'clock. Are you nervous? Maybe you should be, because we are about to embark on what could be our most ambitious, most haunted live ever, based here on the immense, dilapidated, now abandoned, former RAF base, West Raynham. For the scale of this place alone, this has to be the most ambitious, most haunted live the team has never attempted. The base covers 277 hectares. It is immense. It features a disused chapel. It has hospitals, living accommodation, sergeants, officers' messes, everything you'd expect at an airfield on an immense scale. Established in the 40s, late 30s, to combat the Nazis, it was closed down about 15 years ago and has remained empty, silent and eerie ever since. Until tonight. Now the team has assembled at a location quite near to this hangar, which is enormous apart from one member. With us tonight, Yvette Fielding, and we are launching tonight's investigation, The Vigil, right here in the heart of our studio audience. Now, it is going to be a very intense journey, an emotional journey. We are going to be asking for our studio audience to please give us what they feel and what they sense. They are part of it tonight, as are you at home, and to tell you more, and to begin the investigation, Yvette Fielding. Thank you very much, uh, Paul. As Paul said, uh, the rest of the team have actually made their journey across to the first uh, or the only location uh, that we're going to be investigating this evening, possibly. Um, they're there. I don't know if you can see them behind me, but they're already getting ready, setting up equipment, setting up um, various different experiments that we're going to be doing throughout the night. I'm here on my own, and what I'm going to do, I've never done it before, uh, nothing might happen, something might happen. I'm going to do a Ouija board session here in the audience now and we're actually going to be, I'm going to choose some audience members to join in with me. Uh, can I just ask any audience members that are a little bit nervous about being in the same room as doing a Ouija board, please can you put your hands up now? Does anybody not want to be in the room whilst we do this? Don't be, don't be shy or anything because some people are a bit nervous about it. Are you all happy? Yeah. You're all happy. Okay, that's absolutely fine. While we're doing the Ouija board session, can I ask if any of you see anything, feel anything, hear anything, please, please, just let us know. Paul will be upon you with a microphone and ask you what you're sensing and feeling. So now let's walk down and we'll pick our members of the audience. And I'm just going to go for a straight pick, not messing about. I'm going to go for you guys here. Do you guys want to join me, the five of you? Yep, brilliant. If you come and sit around the table, I will sit here. Have you ever done this kind of thing before? No. No? We've no. never done it before. The chant that we heard, there was a chant that was played out um, during the ad break that people at home won't have heard. It's actually a protection chant. So that's what we were doing that uh, you probably didn't know. So you are protected and we'll also do the chant at the end so you're absolutely fine. Okay, what I'd like the audience now please, if you could put your feet flat on the ground. Okay, really, really concentrate. Um, I'd like the lights to be taken down as far as they can go, please. Can you take the lights down, please, now? Thank you. Right, take away this ball. So, what I'd like you to do, if you can just put your feet flat on the ground, okay? Let's just start off with putting our hands flat on the table. Okay, let me just move my microphone. Now. Oops, let me take my scarf off. Can you hear me now? How is that? See, it's the cold weather, it stops sound. Okay, so join fingers, okay, and then I want you to concentrate. Try and close your eyes, well, close your eyes and try and concentrate and think of it uh, almost like a Catherine wheel going round the table um, in a clockwise direction, but try and imagine energy pushing from your left hand into the person sitting on the left and going into their hand. Sounds a bit complicated but you'll get there. 
Okay, so imagine pushing this, this energy around the table. And now I'm going to start calling out. If there's anybody here, are there any spirit people here in this place, please can you come towards this table now? Please come and talk to us. Let us know that you are here in this place. Did you belong to the RAF? Did you fly during the war? Do you belong to the land before these buildings were built here? Okay. Now what I want you to do is keep one hand on the table and put one hand on the glass. Put it in the center. Okay. Okay. Really concentrate hard. And you've got to trust in each other here now that no one's going to push this glass. Okay. If there is a spirit person here with us now, please can you move this glass? Let us know that you are amongst us. Please use our energies. Please use our energies. The people sat around this table need to know that you are here. Can you please push the glass? Move the glass. If you can, push the glass. Give us a message. Is it moving or is it my imagination? It is going. Okay, we're off. Please, that's it. Can you give us a message, perhaps your name? I'm just standing up so I can get... Okay. Keep the energy going. You see how the glass is moving quite slowly. You need to build the energy up, so really concentrate. Goodbye. Okay? I'm, I'm pulling it back into the center now. Okay. Please, tell us who you are. What is your first name, please? What is your first name? Your first name, please. First name, going over to numbers. Seven. So you have to stand up, I'm afraid. Seven Q. Seven. Energy's getting better. See, Miriam, John, if you can take this down for me, there might be some sort of, I don't know, code or something. Six. G. Seven. No, I just think it's doing random things now. Okay. Okay, stop now, stop. Can you give us your name? A name, please. A first name. Your first name. Your first name, please, whoever you are. Do you want to ask a question? Want to ask a question? Anybody? Don't be shy. No? Were you stationed at this base? It's gone to G. This could be the first name. It's going into a number again. G8. J. Eight. J. Eight or nine. Okay. Stop. Were you stationed at this base? Good question. Were you stationed at this base, yes or no? Were you stationed here, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Did you die here? Did you die during combat? Okay. Do you know you're dead? Do you know that you are dead? Are you with your loved ones? 
Are you with your family and loved ones? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you fly? Were you a flyer? Any questions from the audience? 